Hey you guys, Rosalind Daniels here from RosalindDaniels.com. Happy New Year! I'm so excited to be here with you. Like we have a whole new year of content, a whole new year of stress, a whole new year of happiness. And so I figured I would show you or bring on board one of my biggest sources of happiness and that's the hubs, Harvey Daniels. But you guys, show him a warm welcome because this isn't his thing, but hopefully if he likes it, I could get him on some more videos. That is the goal. So, this is my husband, Harvey. Hi. <laughs> and this is his first video, so again, please be really kind to him and sensitive. <laughs> But we have questions, or I had some questions that I asked you guys to submit on Insta Stories, and most of them, actually all of them were for me because I didn't mention that Harvey was gonna be on the video. And so some of them I'm gonna answer just honestly for myself, but the other ones we can go ahead and include him in. Yeah, I give him my thoughts. Mm -hmm. So, all right, he has not seen these questions, and Honestly, I just copied and pasted. I didn't put any thought into these questions, but I'm gonna ask him or have him answer for me, and he's gonna answer, no, I'm gonna answer for him, okay, yeah. and he's gonna answer for me. Is that what I'm to ask for you? <laughs> so the first one, how often do you buy clothes? So for you, I'll probably say, what, like, once a week. Are you serious? You buy some Marvel clothes once a week? No, I don't. I don't. I don't buy mini clothes at all. No, no, no. I mean, it might be a pair of socks. Lies. <laughs> no. Okay. One, once a month. Okay. Okay. So I do. You honestly, I usually purchase new clothing items when I have to do a TV segment. That's like my time where I don't feel guilty about buying something and. I'm usually putting more time into it so it could fit me perfectly. And then other than that, I'm usually wearing yoga pants and a t-shirt all day. So yeah, I don't buy clothes as much as no, I like No, so like to. twice a month on average. Okay, I'll get that to you. All right. Okay, oh, so for you, <laughs> I say once a quarter. If that. Yeah, yeah, like you don't buy many clothes. this is the yeah, hoodie, a button up. Pretty yeah. Casual. Yeah. Yeah. So, but in 2020, we're gonna do better. We're going to buy more clothes. Okay, I give you that. And we're gonna get more clothes like tailored for yeah, so us. To go. Yeah, we're gonna dress like adults for 2020. That's the goal. We can do it. Okay. What's your favorite dessert? So, what's my favorite dessert? I mean, yours is gonna be something not exotic, but something fancy. It is not. I was gonna say it's gonna be you. something like a baklava or okay. Um, Even a baklava is really nice. What's those little easy. Japanese um, ice creams? The uh, moki, um, yeah, moki. Those things. Those. Um, okay. And then I guess okay. So stateside though, I'd probably say Tolentino pistachio. Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> um, honestly, I mean, I guess we can go with that. Like, I'm not the biggest dessert person. Right, so that's why I go. I, I do like a baklava, but the thing is sometimes it's too sweet. I, I'm pretty much more with, like, doughs. I, I could do a good plain donut, glazed donut, or, like, um, a pie. Uh, I'm all about those crust. Um, okay, so for you. It's my favorite dessert. I know this. Because I felt like it was my duty as his wife to know how to get him. And so, how to get you yes. is with yellow cake with chocolate icing. That's me. <laughs> That's it. Okay, so, and then that's the Classic. first one. Classic. The second one, red velvet cake. I do like to get red velvet cake. Cream cheese icing is everything. And then, or, Top two. I mean, no, top two and three. I'm gonna say a pound cake. I do like a pound cake. Again, three classics. Okay, good. Yeah. All right, give me a kiss because I feel like I did. No, you, you know. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next one, 
is... Da -da -da -da. Ooh, Brandy or Monica? Uh, I was going to say bourbon, but you're talking about Brandy. <laughs> singer versus Monica, also a singer. Uh -huh. I'm going to have to go with A-Town Girl. Monica all day. Uh. Um, yeah, love you too, Brandy, but... Forced to make a decision, I'm gonna have to go team Monica. I'm uh, team Brandy all day. Uh, oh, and I guess I guess I would have guessed you would have been Monica because we were supposed to guess for each other. But you uh, know, I think that should have been a self one because that's a really personal yeah, that's decision. Deep. That's deep. Yeah. yeah. So um, I'm team Brandy. Okay. Like Brandy. Nothing wrong with that. I, that girl has never put out a song that I don't love. Like her voice is just oh. It's good. I mean, it's just so beautiful. Monica has some hits, and every song Monica puts out, I will say, is every like, last one. Uh huh. It makes me feel it deep down in my soul. Mm. But Brandy, Brandy could sing A B C. She could sing The Devil Is a Lie. She could sing Yes Lord, and I'm here for it. I love Brandy. Team Monica. Team Brandy. Oh, this one I know is for me. <laughs> How do you juggle being a wife, a mother, or a mother, a wife, and an entrepreneur? Uh, I'll let you ask that. <laughs> okay, honestly, with a lot of help. Like, I have a very supportive husband, and he's a very hands on dad, very active. Thank um, you. You're welcome. And thank you. <laughs> Um, and then I have my mom who's in town and my mother-in-law and father-in-law um, and my dad and my stepmom from afar. They're even hands-on too from afar. So um, when they say it takes a village, it does. And yeah. our village is very hands-on. We love you guys. Yeah. Yeah, and we do have um, great uh, friends, godparents in our kids' lives that help out with a lot. And just, you know, as far as entrepreneurship, again, like I think the fact that I have a great partner who just understands that I have to um, go after my dreams and goals, like that helps out a ton. And it just, um, it takes the pressure off of me to be something else and other other than who and what I am. Honestly, I'm just one of those people like I figure out a way to make things happen, to get things done, even when it came to having help from friend family, family. Um, I spoke about it and like I'm talking about like before I got pregnant yeah. or like when I was pregnant, I'm like telling people like, yo, I need your help. Um, I'm not going to be able to do this all by myself. Children are not my ministry. Um, so I know like I have other people in my life, <laughs> in my life who just, I don't know, they just are like the children whisperer. And so they help out a lot, but I've always been vocal. I've had a plan in, in place and I was just really determined that um, being a wife and mother was not going to stop me who i am my dreams or anything and luckily god put someone in my life who is down for what i'm down for let's go mm -hmm. let's get it amen um okay do you prefer to eat out do you or, prefer or do i prefer to yeah. eat out or eat in uh i'm gonna say because it's you the answer has to be <laughs> DoorDash, a little bit of both, <laughs> right? So okay. you get the comforts of eating out and the comforts of your own home. Uh huh. I can't say I blame you. Yeah, it's so crazy because I used to love like going out to eat. A business experience, which I still do enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you know the way that our lives are set up, I think I prefer to order out from a nice restaurant. Yeah. I think you're the same way. I think you're right. And, and yeah. I'm just trying to avoid the people. Yeah. Love people. Mm -hmm. It's just not the people in part of people. We went through a process or part in our life where we went out to eat all the time. Yeah. And then that did start to get boring, I'm not gonna lie. Because it's like when you've tried every restaurant, it's just like come on. So we started traveling and going to like different restaurants. Like that's our splurge. 
And I think that's like what makes it really fun. Yeah, it makes it even more exciting. Yeah, right? so when so. we go out to eat, I mean, we still go locally, but like we try to, you know, visit like really nice restaurants, um, James Beard Award winning yeah. Michelin star restaurants, like when we go and travel, just to, you know, get our, our grown and sexy that's on it. and experience, you know, a nice, you know, dinner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one is definitely for me. I know it's for me. I know who submitted this. Uh -oh. Girl, are you still out here trying to dance? Are you out here still trying to dance? Uh-huh. Listen, I can dance, okay? And so, yeah, that's, that's what we my answer. So to answer the question is no, you're not trying. I'm not trying. But you definitely got moves. Oh, I got moves. moves and okay, and you know, I'm just in my own world and in my own you know, class alone for my dancing, and I think it's pretty good. I got you. I have right. a good time, and that's what dancing is all about. Make it work, make it work. Uh huh. Oh. <laughs> What's your favorite flower? <laughs> that's like so random, but um, my favorite flower. Oh I wait, yours? I would, yeah, you, you do mine. Uh, yours would be um. You know my favorite flower. Don't act like you know. No, that. yours would be a hydrangea. Exactly. Yeah. It's a hydrangea. And I like Different roses colors. too. I like roses. I know like they're everywhere, but I love them. Classic. Can't go wrong. Yeah. And peonies. Yeah. The Basically, you like the, the, your favorite flower is the ones that are Pretty much. Get some flowers, mm -hmm. you know. But the, the, the more thoughtfully arranged, obviously. Yeah. Okay, so yours, I'm gonna try to channel back to our wedding and see if I could think of what kind of flower. Um Honestly it's probably whatever flower you tell me. Like, <laughs> I haven't thought too much about this. Yeah, let's just go with hydrangeas. Let's just go with that. I like he different colors. Loves hydrangeas. I like different colors. I like the science behind it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Did you make cornbread or stuffing for Thanksgiving? <laughs> I didn't make either because I didn't cook this past Thanksgiving. I actually like let the um, the women, yeah, the the family on Harvey's side of the family do the cooking this year. We hosted last year, yeah. but I'm here to tell you there was only um, a dressing. dressing there. But no, it's you should say um um because there's nothing else. It's like. Dressing. No, okay. Or well, no. I grew dressing. up with stuffing, and and that does not mean stovetop stuffing. It's, not it's stuffing, just like it's not dressing. What did you stuff inside of? Nothing. See, dressing. But it had this great consistency. I'm gonna say it really quick. Um, our like whole little cornbread stuffing dressing debacle. I did not realize that there was a difference between the two until like two or two years into our marriage. No, three years. Like two or three years into our marriage. Like when we were living um, in a different state, I made Thanksgiving dinner. And I'm like, babe, I made your dressing with the turkey and the gravy. And like he goes to like, you know, look at the food and he's like, where's the dressing? And I'm like, it's right there. On top of the stove. Yeah. <laughs> and so. Okay. <laughs> and so he's like, no, babe, that's stuffing. And I'm like, well, it's dressing. And like, he's like, no, it's stuffing. And I'm just like, okay, so what is the difference? Because I always thought stuffing and dressing was the same thing. And he's like, dressing's more like almost a pudding or just like, I don't know. It's like, Cornbread that's very moist and just so, yeah. Let it soak and bake yeah. up slowly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's, that's what dressing. that is, and it's really good. But that's not what makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside because I didn't grow up with that. I grew up with stuffing. You just, just tear like, up bread and throw it in a pot. Not necessarily Call though. There's so much more to it, and so I'll have some more stuffing recipes for next Thanksgiving because a lot of people were asking me for stuffing recipes not dressing recipes. It's not my channel. 
And so, yeah, and um, yeah, so now I know there's a difference. And eventually I will learn how to make dressing just so. Oh, yeah, you just gotta put time. Yeah, his you, mom makes like the best dressing. Yeah, you, you, yeah. So. so, Team Monica, Team Dressing. Team Brandy, Team Stuffy. She's a lot. <laughs> okay, does your husband ever cook? The answer to your question is yes. I do. My husband does cook. My husband probably cooks more than I do, believe it or not. <laughs> like It's probably about 50-50. You think so? Yeah. Thank you. I think it's so. He cooks majority for the family. I cook <laughs> majority for RoslinDaniels.com. Thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yeah, my husband, he put it down in the kitchen. <laughs> and the kids tend to like his food more than mine. That's true. I'm not going to lie. But That's, it's not a thing to be. But my food is usually a lot, you know, pedestrian than your food. It's a lot more pedestrian than you. I think that's a good way to go. Okay, I'll take it. So mine's more kid-friendly. Yours is more kid Because my kids aren't pedestrian. So my, my meals just tend to be a little bit more kid-friendly, less than 10 ingredients. Yeah. Which country's cuisine do you love to eat the most and why? So for you, I'm going to answer for you. Okay. And I, I'm not gonna say country. I'm just gonna say what like, continent. Region. Region. Yeah, continent. It's continent. Is Asia. That's true. Like all Asian cuisine. Korea, Thai, Chinese, Sichuan, Japan. Yeah. yeah, like he loves Japanese. It's like nuts. Yeah, that's true. Uh -huh. For you, I can definitely say a country. Well, I, for you, it's definitely a region too, right? So I think it's Mediterranean. So not just Greek. Oh yeah. Because I don't want to start in trouble. Mm -hmm. But Mediterranean. So I yeah. love Mediterranean. Yeah. But honestly, since being with you, I've grown to enjoy Asian food more. And we went on a trip to Bali, and like when we went there, I just like became so much more open to Asian cuisine. It was and authentic. Right? It yeah. Was, you got to see what it is that mm -hmm. everyone stateside is trying to do. So once we got back, like, I've just been pretty obsessed with it ever since. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Which is a good thing. Because I okay. want to, you know, enjoy the things you enjoy. Yeah, yeah. You know? So that means you're going to enjoy the things I enjoy? Like olives? Not olives. Okay. Tomatoes? Not tomatoes. Okay. Well, those are the But things. yeah, you know, except cilantro, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Do you prefer sweet or savory? Wait, are we answering? We're going to answer for each other. Yeah, you definitely prefer savory or sweet. Amen. Yeah. Hands down. That's pretty easy. And you're definitely sweet over savory. That's true. Yeah. Like, if I never had another, like, I don't know, sweet item in my life, I'd be good. Like would be the whole cake. Yeah, I, want. I I actually eat more sweets because of him. Yeah, I want the entire cake. Yeah. Cake and a fork. Yeah. Okay, well, that sums it up, you guys. I think this was pretty easy. Did you enjoy yourself? Yeah, it was good. First time. It on. wasn't bad at all. Yeah. Do you think you'll come back again? If you're happy, I'll be Oh, yes, I will. I'm not going to. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you learned more about me, more about the hubs, and please let me know some of your questions or some of your answers to the same questions in the comment section. And um, yeah. Can I say it? Oh, yeah. Make sure you share this video with somebody that's awesome. Oh! <laughs> I watched. Yes, thanks, Boo. And don't forget to subscribe.